If you are struggling with switching relay with your ESP to 66 board, then this is the right video you are landed on. Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to switch relay with your ESP board. No, it's not that simple as switching with your Arduino board. So let's get started. It was raining in my town and I was working on one of my projects in which I was struggling to switch relay with my ESP board. So with several experiments, I succeeded in switching the relay. In this video, I will not only show you how to switch relay, but also show you the timeline in how I landed up with this technique. So first of all, I will take a 3.3 volt regulator IC LD33V and attach power source in its input side like this. Then I will take my ESP board and will attach it to this 3.3 volt source and the connections are something like this. Let's power up the circuit. Ok, so the ESP board is powered up. Now I program this board for blinking the pin 0 with a delay of a second. So let's just put on an LED here. Ok, so this is working according to the code. Now, we will take a 3 volt relay and we will try to switch the relay directly. So the connections are something like this. Ok, so you can observe that the relay is not at all turning on. And the reason is clear that the current is not sufficient to charge the coil of this relay. So we move on with the transistor as to increase the current. And the connections with the transistor are something like this. Ok, so as you can observe that the relay turned on but it's not switching according to the program. It get turned on if I attach the battery and it get turned off if I remove the battery. So basically the problem of latching is occurring here. There may be some interference between the relay and the ESP board due to which the relay is getting latched and not switching. So to isolate the signal between the relay and ESP board, I have used optocoupler IC MCT2E. So first I have attached an LED with this opto isolator on the input side. So to see if it's working or not. So the connection on the input side are something like this. Okay, so it is perfectly working. Now let's move on towards the output side of the opto isolator IC. And the connection for that are something like this. Now you can observe that the relay is perfectly switching according to our program. So yeah, we succeeded in switching the relay using our ESP board and this is what we wanted. I hope you like this video and to show that give a big thumbs up below this video. This can also be regarded as extension video of my upcoming project. Now to know what's my upcoming project and to learn how to make that project do subscribe my channel. Until then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.